Throw Gang, we are joined by the Costume Queen, the Pharaoh Fittings, the Gen Z Trend Titan. Heidi put some stank on the wardrobe. That's that HBO. The First Lady, the looks. Vixen of the visuals. You rip jewels, she drips jewels. Your fits poo, she fits rue. You have no baddie, she dresses Maddie. She go in C.S. Lewis mode because she the styling boss bitch of the wardrobe. <clears throat> she might testify before Congress because she runs TikTok. The Spring Break is girl boss. The Beach Bum Big Gun. Yeah, I'm not supposed to be podcasting right now because I'm dressed like a hooker. Euphoria is costume designer and author of the Euphoria fashion book, which is in stores now. Heidi Bivens. Heidi, how the hell are you? Oh, hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm good. Put that on I'm your good. IMDb. Yeah, I know. I need to I need to get that from you later for my bio. A hero's welcome. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Thank you for making the drive down. Yeah. yeah we didn't excited. know that it was gonna be like a real commute for your <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> like we weren't prepared. Well, when I told friends I was doing throwing fits, Woo. they said this was the one. Yeah, what, is Zen, what did Zendaya say? <laughs> this is the <laughs> one. Yeah, right. yeah, well, let's just call her. Let's call what? her right Whoa. now. Whoa. Oh. No, she's Don't in, she's in London. She's in yeah. London. It'll she, be a longer yeah. commute than a podcast. <laughs> you can't call her. you got to WhatsApp her. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah, actually, I, I message her on uh, on her Gmail. That's how I oh, message really? her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What's her email? She probably changes. Yeah. She probably has to change her Gmail <laughs> so many times. She's on that Gmail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heidi, the first thing you want to do, since you are the fit god, is a fit check where you're going to walk us and the audience at home through mm-hmm. the totality of your outfit today. The oh, choice for okay. you is do you want to start like top down or do you want to go bottom up and there is okay, a Okay, cool. Answer. Yeah, I, I had a feeling this might happen. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no, no pressure. <laughs> you did invent the no genre. pressure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, you know. I definitely put way more thought into dressing other people than I do myself. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think that is you your know, job. It's it's yeah. I, there's you, you know there's two kinds of costume designers or stylists: the ones who like you know want to be the mm-hmm. talent, and the ones that are happy being behind the scenes. And um, and I definitely am happier being behind the camera. But you certainly Don't put together. You, yeah. certainly, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you certainly put together a pretty I mean, fire. Yes. Thanks, <laughs> thanks. You put together um, for cert- a fire fit yeah. today. Well, wow. thanks. Um, yeah, I, I especially um, when Zen Day was like, "Damn, you're going on the only podcast that matters." <laughs> I like this narrative, by the way. We should keep pushing that. Yeah. <laughs> I um I put this shirt on today in an homage to to my friend Kristen Stewart. Oh, who, okay. uh, um, I Name drop. Did a, did a, yeah, I will drop that Let's hard. So this is um, uh, Chanel. Yes. Um. It's yeah. I've been working with Chanel a bunch, and we just did a campaign with her, and her her face is on this. Shirt, oh right. This shirt. Is this and something uh, people can buy, or did you make this for yourself? Yeah, people can buy it. It. Okay. it opened the show. This shirt. Oh shit! Um, it opened the show. So that's like a five thousand dollar t shirt. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't like I that. Think, yeah, uh, uh, I, try, I try not to. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, and um, in a skirt, uh, a hammered silk skirt from my buddies Umberto Leon and Car- oh, Carol Lamb. Oh, friend Lam. of the show, former yeah. of the show, Umberto. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you potted with him out in Eagle Rock. Yeah. Yeah. yeah not Carol, just Umberto. Yeah. I mean, they're doing amazing things. Is it so? It's OC. It's OC from a uh, collection from, I forgot wh- wh- exactly which season. It was um, a season where I did a uh, live performance uh, for them for Fashion Week that Spike Jones directed. Oh, we oh, like talked the, about the, the, the theatrical yeah. play. So yes, you styled, you styled yes, that? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yeah, At the Met? No. Oh, well, actually, they've or done the Lincoln two. Center? Okay. It was the dance performance okay. that they did um, on the Lower East Side. Okay. But, um, so that but, was yeah. like, a, that fell off a rack, and you're like, I'm going to take this with me. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> basically, and yeah. And the, the boots that and you so kindly yeah, took yeah. off? The boots are, are by far. I love by far. They've been a big supporter of, of Euphoria and the show, and I've, put, I've used a lot of their stuff on the show. Is that a big, like, Gen Z brand? I've, yeah, I've never heard yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, they make shoes and bags, and probably we'll see much more from them in the future. But, yeah, they're uh, a brand that I think is, like, at a price point that mm. – your average fashion enthusiast could afford, okay. so it's not, um, which not, I appreciate. It's not Chanel, is what you're saying. It's <laughs> exactly. a little more it's approachable. <laughs> yes, for I, the I, I, yeah. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, what about the mm-hmm. socks? Were you wearing socks? Yeah. Uh, just wearing, wearing, wearing socks. Some, 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 point, some special, right? some special <laughs> nylons. No, I just okay. uh, <laughs> yeah, but very functional. Very okay. Functional. Jewelry. Let's talk jewelry. Yeah, this ring. Oh wow. Okay. So all the things. Um, this is a ring that I've had for. Probably like twenty years. Oh. 
from a store that used to be in New York. I know they still sell online, but it's called Jeanette, G-I-N-E-T-T-E. It's a, fr- a French brand. Okay. But it's my initials. Nice. It's my little sig- signet, signet ring. ring. Yeah, nice. exactly. Oh, yeah. This is uh, my signature s- signet. And the necklace? And I thought you had a Chanel, na- oh, Chanel yeah. necklace yeah, on, but that's like part of the oh, shirt. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it looks like it's part. <laughs> um, this is like a little black diamond heart. And the designer is Finn, F I N N, and they also used to have a store on yeah. on Bond Street, and that's retail. So if retail Heidi not buys your jewelry, you're going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> the Heidi I'm curse, right. yeah, okay. right. You're two right. for two, dude. Kiss a deck. Yeah, well, I'll make it up to them. I'll I'll put something on the show. Yeah, it's and then they're gonna be like, and we're opening five <laughs> new locations. You need one placement on Euphoria. Oh, earrings. Uh, the the first ones were a gift from Ashley Levinson, Sam's wife. Oh, mm. from from Sam and Ashley. Actually, it was um, after second season. They uh, both these earrings are from one of my favorite places in LA called uh, a fourteen carat. Mm. Do you know about fourteen carat? No, we do now. I know about twenty four oh. golden. Fourteen yeah. carat <laughs> is is kind of a secret to some Ooh. people. Um, it's uh, it's like this weird jewelry dealer, and uh, it's like it's in Bev Hills. It's like. It kind of reminds me of Uncut Gems. Sure. It's in this black mirrored building. You don't see it. Ooh, you wouldn't like know that. it was there Diamond from the district street. Diamond District vibes. But, but then there's nothing else like it around. So it's just this random building. And then you take the <laughs> elevator up and there's a security. And then when you go up in the space, it's like you see like all walks of life up there. You see like. So it's a whole really experience. Well. Yeah. Characters. Yeah. You definitely see characters. And everything is 50% off. Whoa. That's like that. that <laughs> that's off their a fucking truck or something. Yeah? <laughs> that's yeah. their business model. Fell off model. the set of a HBO TV <laughs> show. Yeah. You know what I mean? I just, I love it that that's like, that's their whole business model everything is that 50%. everything is 50% off. Everything must so, go. so like I thought like, yeah, if I opened a business, I would just, you just know, mark, make, immediately make, mark but no, off. but just like make that, whatever the price is, just say that's 50%. Oh, sure, off. right. It's and then and then you just want to buy it. Right. You just yeah. want to buy it because it's 50% right. Psychological warfare yes, in retail. Yes, yes. Got it, cool. <laughs> Heidi, <Okay>. uh, bra? <laughs> Panties? Not wearing, I don't, I don't, Panties? I don't okay. wear bras. Um, yeah, uh, Uniqlo, probably. Okay. Nice. Is that your go-to? Yeah, yeah or Commando. Nice. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah. What about the bag? Oh, that's um, J.W. Anderson. Ooh. Yeah, I'm into the, Jonathan. I'm into the puffy trend. Yeah. You know, the... But like uh, that's still happening. I'm still into it. Like yeah. the big Lueve, like leather. Yeah, all, huge, all that huge stuff. Huge he's doing. Yeah, and right. he's he's a genius. Yes, he right. really. Is. And you're sipping on a pure yes. Lacroix, only the finest. Um, looking for sponsors. So. Yeah, Absolutely. You're, you're a Lacroix girly, I believe you said right. That's your go-to. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Listen, if anyone out there. Something can hook and it nothing, up. though. Something and nothing. That's really yeah my jam. Okay. What is that? Is that a seltzer brand? Yeah, oh, or a sparkling brand. It's like next level. <laughs> um, I would I would be a spokesperson for something and nothing if they're listening. If you paid them. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I order crates of it. It's uh, the yuzu flavor mm. is where it's at. Right, right, right. Big brain shit yeah. only, of course. Yeah, yeah. All right, fit check, drink check complete. Mm-hmm. Heidi, let's get into the meat and potatoes of this podcast. Yes. As the costume designer for Euphoria, mm-hmm. and also numerous movies before that, styling. Um, you know your whole career is nothing but fucking smashes but i want to ask about the most challenging aspect of your entire career how are you able to achieve the impossible and make zendaya look so fucking frumpy (laughs) on euphoria oh my god how do you take the most elegant woman in the world and make her look like she's an incredible actress she's an incredible actress you're making me think about um changing subject uh jen (laughs) jen lawrence when i did i love jen jen lawrence jen jen lawrence is is also amazing (laughs) actress and uh and she (laughs) she, we did a movie together where i was supposed to make her look not beautiful good luck this is causeway yes Mm -hmm. and it was real hard yeah. Um. Yeah. I just like it. Kind of looks like more like what I've watched a great movie. It looks a little Thanks. more core. Yeah. Right? Well, you that know? was my that yeah. was my Basic. goal. That was definitely yeah. Normcore was definitely the vibe. Um. But yeah, I can remember produ- getting producer <laughs> no- notes back saying like <laughs> she looks too, too she she's looks too beautiful. Too <laughs> and I literally said camera test like I literally said she's wearing jockey sweatpants and a Hanes t-shirt. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what, what, what do to you tell you. What do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> like, Put her in a garbage bag. <laughs> I yeah. Like, I don't so know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, Z, Z, you know, she channels Rue and she goes to that place. She like, it, you see it on, on her face. Um, before so, she before she turns it on in front of the cameras and she's wearing like the look that you put together for her, does she still look like Zendaya before she then like 
fully embodies a fucking heroin addict? Well, I would think if she was here, like I'm, I'm guessing how she would answer. <laughs> she, yeah, she would just call her. Um, that yeah, she would say that there's like a little bit of rue, you know, with her. Like, mm-hmm. and, and um, I mean, I with can, us, really. I can, re- I can relate to that too. Just in that, like, when I'm, like you. when I. When I <laughs> There's some when, I, you. when I'm dressing characters, yeah. there's like something I'm bringing to it that is like a part of an experience that's either personal or, or mm-hmm. someone I know that, you know, so that I, I can believe it. Right. But um, so, you know, just going back to like how, what what Z might say is just I think that, you know, when you're having to portray a character as an actress, you know, you, you, you have to believe it. Right. Right. So, so I think, you know, there was definitely times offset where, you know, she would like come by to visit. She would hang out a lot on set, even if she wasn't shooting, um, very supportive executive producer. (laughs) And, um, and she would be wearing something that looked like it could be in Ruth's closet. And after we wrapped second season, yeah, yeah. And then after we wrapped second season, she came into the wardrobe storage where we keep all um, all the characters' closets and and you know asked to take a bunch of stuff. Um, yeah, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna know, get to that, it. Don't that, worry. That, uh, you know, <laughs> what did, did Law Roach have to say about Bruce, that? From Ruth's <laughs> closet. From Ruth's closet. Law yeah. Roach was a pro- was appalled. I actually, I actually have never had a conversation with Law, so I don't I don't even know how he feels about the show. Or I'm I'm sure he supports. He's and, too busy stunting on yeah, the runway. Yeah, yeah. Pairs up though, <laughs> yeah, being a fucking yeah. the star that he is. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you know they had a completely different type of working relationship, so it was like really like fun for me to see like what they would do right. and then how different it was right. from the collaboration that Z and I would have. You're unlocking so. different swags, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Completely. Well, Z, can I, may I call her Z now that I feel like <laughs> yes. we're best friends yes, via, yes. via you? Um, my proxy. <laughs> yeah, my proxy since she listens to the podcast. <laughs> Z was like, I mean, every every actress on the show is like a breakout fashion star starting with their characters and then branching mm-hmm. out into like real life. In your opinion, in Heidi Bivens' opinion, which actress on Euphoria has the best IRL swag? Ooh, ah, yeah, this is, this is a tricky trouble. one. It's all different. Well, right? well, so, someone just asked me, like, which, um, you know, style. I, and then I was, like, thinking about it through, like, my lens. Like, what do yeah. I personally yeah, think yeah. is, is the best? But um, This is your podcast. But it's tricky because, like, some people I think... I personally think have the best like red carpet style, but mm. then maybe their day to day street style is, isn't isn't we like can do my categories favorite. like superlatives. So, yeah. so we could go red carpet, <laughs> street style, coffee yeah. run, date night. You know. Well, you I really love what Maud's been doing on mm-hmm. red carpet. I think she looks so chic. I love her new haircut. I love her the makeup she chooses. Um, I mean, she has a team obviously who's like helping her with all this, but I think you know she she does know what she likes and she is. For sure. In control, um, and I just think she's looks so timeless and like really super chic. Um, I think you know, obviously, someone like Z takes more chances on the red carpet, and so like I, no I commend her for that because you know she's become like sort of an icon in that way. Um, uh, but for street style. I mean, I like Jacob Elordi's street style a lot. Yeah. What do you think, think of his purse look? His cap- I like dropped. the purse look. Yeah. His capacious bag. Well, he's been bag. doing that. He's been oh, doing yes. that. Okay. He's been doing that for like two years, I think, at least. What does he do? Um, like, vint- does he do like vintage Carhartt? What's he doing? Does he look like this guy? Uh, well, I haven't seen any pics lately, okay. but I just know that he's like, he's not all about heteronormative sure. look all but the time. Like it's like, and charm bracelets. He, he <laughs> just, you know, I mean the man purse, the purse yeah. is, sure. that's, I mean, that's a full, that's not even a purse. That is a just straight purse. Yeah. yeah. It is a capacious but, bag. You know, yeah. when, when someone is comfortable enough with themselves Absolutely. that they can like, you know, explore, I yeah. think that's great. When you're a Gen Z sex God, you can. Yeah. Carry a purse and, like, and people are sending you like free, sure. you know, Free purses. purses. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a lot of them, apparently. Yeah. He's really in his bag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. okay. So, you know, gosh, I'll, like now I'll start to do that thing where I'm just going to be like diplomatic. Sure. But, <laughs> Did um, I forget anybody? But, yeah. But, uh, I mean. Sydney Sweeney's coveralls? Sydney's. Si- the Sweeney's Oh, oh, wait. The Dickies Club. I don't think I saw that. I saw the, and I saw the Frankies. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I saw the Frankie's collab. This That's was kind hot. of the opposite of yeah. the Frankie's. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what's the Dickies overalls. collab? Yeah. This oh, is well, she does work on more she does work yeah. on cars. I'm sure exactly. that's so that, where that's that came kind of out of. Like that's where it comes from. Yeah. She is a savvy businesswoman. She is. 
I really am inspired by her business acumen. I mean, what about Alexa Demi being like a Balenciaga uh, goddess? Yeah, so Alexa has impeccable style, and she's probably the one who you see the influence of like our collaboration, like her um, ideas coming through with the character the most. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. She she gave me mood boards. Oh shit! Oh, I, yeah, both seasons I got mood boards, and um, how's her mood boarding? Oh, so good. She she is like, like here's my Pinterest. Well, she's collecting <laughs> images over time, wow. so it's not just like she sat down for a couple hours and like t- you know googled some stuff to show. That's how me. we work with our collabs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh shit, we got a meeting yeah. at ten. Whoops. What goes with purple? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's a whole talent in itself, she's isn't it? In. Mood boarding. Um, yeah, she she's great. So she and she's she on Google Slides. She on Pinterest. What's she doing? Um, I don't know where she finds all her stuff honestly i, I mean, mean like it's mostly like that she passes over to you it's <laughs> oh, oh it's uh it's pdfs okay, okay. pdfs um and yeah a computer savvy too yeah <laughs> she oh uh, yeah she's like making music <laughs> on computer <laughs> she's like doing fuck? all the things Damn. um Renaissance yeah i mean they so all everyone has their own thing they yeah all everyone's have their own, yeah i mean barbie the way barbie dresses herself is phenomenal yeah, and i say icon. dresses herself i mean obviously all these yeah. people have teams right so i want to credit the teams and and uh shout and, out the teams. you know like shout out to the teams because <laughs> like when uh talent isn't willing to give props to the teams and this happens sometimes and i hear about it and i don't like it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> when the, yes. when the talent doesn't want to give props to the teams, I That's think it's gracious. just like no, it's a, and some big Honey, stars. You that did not do this look stars. yourself. Yeah, and just like you know, mm. people work hard, yeah. so like let them have a little bit of tag them on the tag them on Instagram. Yeah. Getting a fit off is a team sport. Yes, yeah. yes, and let's yes. acknowledge that. Yes, because there's no I in getting a fit off. Actually, no. there's several. I mean, yeah, I I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure your listeners who don't have teams and are doing it all themselves know how many hours they have to put in. Uh, yeah. So much you know? R&D in the lab. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know how, how long I had to steam <laughs> these jeans for? <laughs> yeah. All right, so obviously every actor, actress, no skinny on, jeans, no skinny jeans. Hell oh, that's no, a that's a big never. euphoria rule, right? Yeah, <laughs> no skinny jeans. Do you think they're going to come back at all? Do you they, see aren't they? They're coming. Uh, I mean, there's always like the Celine, Eddie Slamane. I'm, he- like, I'm hearing, I'm jeans, hearing a, a buzz. I mean, if, if they, if, for you, sure. if they're on season three or four, you're going to see them on. Yeah, dude, so. you control oh, no. the future in the oh, no. palm of your hand, dude. Oh my god. So you tell us, our skinny jeans coming yeah. back? Yes oh my or god. No? You're the seer. Um, you're the oracle. Doer. You're the doer. oracle. I'm ready for new, f- new kind of fabrics but not jeggings Mm. like it's just you know i'm sure we all have worn skinny jeans in our lifetime and the like not being able to bend your legs things it's not (laughs) no that's not convenient (laughs) also the bigger the the bigger that iphones get the harder it's going to be yeah absolutely i mean the shoehorn them into we need a purse dude one of my one of my favorite uh looks um in the skinny jean era which you still see on you know some in the hip-hop community is uh is when it's so tight that they can't put it pull it over their ass even if Mm, they wanted to i know the look is usually about having it dropped and like seeing your underwear also there's so much money in my pockets and it's just Mm -hmm. spilling out but when it's so tight that like even if you pulled it up it would just work its way down full cheeks (laughs) yeah yeah cheeks out baby we love it (laughs) so yeah a comfort is king especially after a pandemic and like i saw living in sweatpants so i don't know if it's i don't know if we're ready for a comeback yet for this uncomfortable uncomfortable great great responsibility again this is on you so (laughs) yeah godspeed well i know that his boyfriend said that i know these world is living in it i know people (laughs) blame me for creating Mm, slutty teenage style and i'm what sorry do you, do you actually get like hate for like sexualizing teens yeah i've a little bit really i've gone a oh, little bit it could be worse people might be saying mm. thank you for your service i love these <laughs> sexy <laughs> teens as a pedophile yeah. i just want to fucking oh yeah. give you oh your flowers what is ron DeSantis gonna come after <laughs> us like i didn't do it on purpose <laughs> i just like you know <laughs> just felt right at the time well every character has their own look um and i think that I, what you are known for is that you really think about like who is this character I mean, this yeah. is the job of a costume designer right and like how, how they dress over the course over their own personal narrative mm-hmm. what character on euphoria is most challenging to dress mm-hmm. is okay. it the closeted gay abusive dad Oh no, he's great. He's so he, he's he's, <laughs> he's so easy. he's so, so easy. Throw some skinny jeans on that hoe. Yeah, yeah. you're here first. He he's easy. I was gonna make him more what I would call like pedestrian in the beginning, and like like chinos, like mm-hmm. kind of just like button down guy. Um, but then he's but, out here throw raping. Some dockers on but that I don't dude. know if you noticed he he wears Marge- he wears Margella. I mean, he I does. did not notice that. He, wow. 
See like some you see stitches the, poking see out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he's yeah. date raping a teenager, yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Margella, you're on notice. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Um, John so, so yeah, there's there's some he has some fashion moments. But uh <laughs> the um Look, I mean I wanted to have more with the guys actually, but Sam felt it was like important to like keep keep them in their lane and, yeah. and not try to do anything too too like interesting with them. Nate's pretty boring. Um, for the for the storytelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like second season I, w- I wanted to Dominic Fike though. He's sure. Yeah. Get some Dominic. Shit off. Wears a lot of his own clothes on the show. Oh wow! I, I would say I would say that. it's like 50-50. Wow. Yeah, How I just do you feel about that. You're like cool. Great. I just wrote him like a note to send him um, the new book, and I said thank you so much for your collaboration, especially for bringing you know, you <laughs> all your clothes. Yeah, for doing my job <laughs> for me. I mean, I, I think at one point he like, you know, messaged and was like, "Can I get some of my clothes back? Because I, <laughs> I don't have anything." <laughs> Well, he was very generous. I mean, I think the first fitting, you know, I had asked him to bring stuff, yeah. you know, because I'm always curious, like what, um, you know, depending on who the character is like. But, you know, if it's a character who I think there might be some overlap with their life and how they dress and the character, I'm always mm-hmm. curious, like what they might want to contribute. And uh, and it's kind of like method costumes. Ooh. And uh, and he brought so much great stuff and then we just thrifted everything else and did mm. costume house um and uh yeah so, so he's relatively easy because he does the job for you the uh <laughs> dad the closet dad is easy is it hunter schaefer's character jules because no, like Jill, jules is the best jules is the easiest i think i have the most fun with her honestly i, I mean i've talked about this a bit before in the past but oh, but sorry. sydney no just because i don't want it to feel sound redundant if no. anyone has heard this anecdotal thing but um but Sydney's character, Cassie, I think from the very beginning, I couldn't really nail who she was. I was like trying to figure it out when I was putting together my own boards to share with the crew and HBO when we did the pilot. And and then I realized <coughs> it was because I was like having a conversation with Sam and I was like, yeah, I'm like, I just I'm having trouble figuring her out. And then we were looking at pictures on social media uh, of like you know it girls and and i was oh, thinking like research like on instagram oh yeah because that's never been done no i know i just i don't <laughs> we're some who's, i do it I, and but, i get paid for but it. i realized anyway long story Can you short name drop some of the it girls that maybe have influenced some of the well it was like i was looking at like Haley mm. and oh um, you know like the obvious obvious ones okay. um, bella you know and just looking at their style and like what was going on um but then I then I had an epiphany. I realized the reason why I couldn't figure her out was because she can't figure herself out. Bars, <laughs> bars. Yes. So and she's she, kind of just mo- she's yes. mimicking what yeah. she might see on her own Instagram yes. or what people are telling. She's her. a poser. Oh, bless Cassie. She's one of the girlies on TikTok Cassie. that's trying to dress like Cassie herself. Yes. Wow. Well, that's why second season you see her trying to emulate. Alexa Maddie, yeah, yeah. yeah, because you know she's like yeah, wants the to get tension, and then yeah, the <laughs> we're in the same fit. Yeah, so mm-hmm. good. Guy's worst nightmare. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm very proud of that moment because that was like a, a that was an opportunity that I saw in the script. I mean, it wasn't scripted that they would be wearing the same thing, and then I pitched to Sam like, "How about oh, we do really? this?" And then it became a meme. Someone get her a writing <laughs> credit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, Sam's so generous that way, you know. Art imitating fits. Yeah. yeah. That's fucking sick. That was fun. Hell yeah. But, I mean, I like that's a that's that. a fairly funny, like, lighthearted moment, but, like, mm-hmm. what Euphoria is known for mm-hmm. is, or one of the things it's known for, uh, it's known for many things, but maybe uh, what gets snags people's attention is that the material is so, at times, can be so graphic and intense. Mm-hmm. What's the general, just, what's the vibe like on set? Mm. Is it, like, a very serious place? Is mm. it just fucking homies De- chilling? I mean, it depends on uh, what day of the week it is, what hour of shooting it is, <laughs> and what we're shooting. I mean, with a TV schedule like Euphoria, on a Monday morning, you know, I'm waking up at like 4.30, 5.30. You know, like we're we're starting super Glad early. Sad. And then by the end of the week, you know, like we'll, we'll progressively go later and later because, um, you know, we have to have turnaround uh, for well, once we wrap. There has to be... A turnaround, a uh, certain amount of time for each department uh, for union rules, I was right? Say, blink twice if you yes. need to contact your we rep. We are, you know, protected in that way. <laughs> um, and uh, and so yeah, so then the, so with the turnaround, each day gets a little bit later. Call time usually gets a little bit later. 
And so by the end of the week, by Friday, well, we have what's called Fratter Days, mm. um, where we don't really, you know, have a, a full uh, Saturday because you're, you know, kind of going into the yeah. evening or whatever. Fratter so anyone who thinks oh, so it's not the, it's anyone not who thinks it's, it's like glamorous work, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, so to answer your question, I think like you know, beginning of the week is usually like really amazing. Hell yeah, this is gonna be a great week, guys. guys. So like, and then Friday yeah, rolls around. Friday, Fucking yeah. what? Just yeah. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. yeah. Just but, wear the shit Zendaya. But like, you know, <laughs> regardless of like anything like a PA or an extra set about like having to sit around on set all day while we were shooting the play episodes or whatever mm -hmm. happened, um oh, yeah. it's that's the biz. Is this fucking yeah. play that's about us? That's the biz. Yeah. And uh, and yeah. um Put and the people up. who are there who want to be there are passionate about the work and they they get what the job is and um you know I mean sure. Uh you know is it is it always easy? No. But uh, but you know you're there because you believe in the work. Act like you've been here before. Yeah. yeah. And um, and pros. Sam's a great Has leader. Has fucking pride. Yeah. Sam is a Shout is a, a valiant and kind leader. And, yeah. And um, yes. Kui, so there's been he's been in the news. I feel mm -hmm. like anytime a, a cast member opens or has an interview, like it's it's newsworthy. Mm -hmm. The gossip around this place, around the set, and around the the show is crazy. What are the biggest mm -hmm. misconceptions people might have about the Euphoria cast? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, I don't really know what the general like perception is beyond that like everyone like gets along i mean it's true it's like family Everyone's i mean homies? you you spend so much time together yeah you're forced you know to the, the the cast is is like family and um when you, hear your you know family. Sure, sure there's you know there's like sometimes there's like ups and downs and mm -hmm. there's like riffs within the fam but uh but then uh, at the end of the day everybody loves each other do you party with the cast at all <laughs> Would you like to party with <laughs> <Yeah>. um <laughs> I um you frat I, out on not, I was like yeah. gonna age myself, but um uh, but no, I do not party with the cast. I mean, sure, I get invited not, to like oh, you are invited to, say, to, to yeah, invited, I get you know? I get invited, to, but uh, <laughs> to be clear. like Barbie will have a house party and and I'll get invited, but um you don't chaperone, but, but yeah, I uh <laughs> I like I'm really all about the work. Sometimes I'm like too too focused and I need to I need to lighten up. A little you need to cut loose a little bit. Yeah, you need I to do, light I one do. up. You need to. <laughs> Oh yeah, well that's I mean that's for sure on the trailer. Who would you <laughs> is it is it in on your um your fucking rider? What's it called, your rider? Oh Me? yeah. Oh really? yeah. That I get yeah, that I'm allowed to vape on set. Okay. Oh nice. One hundred percent. Of, of <laughs> every <laughs> cast member, who would you who would be in your dream blunt circle? Ooh, ooh, out of the cast? Yeah. Ooh, definitely Barb's. Yeah. Okay. Um, was it four? Dream blunt rotation is four. I think four, or five. yeah. We'll go four. Okay. No, Barb's number one. More. Barb's <laughs> Um, okay, who else? Um, I'm, uh... Does she count? Are I'm you just going to yeah. throw a wild card in there and say Alana Ubach. Okay. Who plays Suze. Yeah, yeah. Cassie and Lexi's mom. Mm, like that. <laughs> she's wow, a, the, she's, she's a the riot. Cool mom. She's yeah. a cool mom. Cool she's mom a, cutting she's loose. She's a riot. <laughs> um, <laughs> Angus, duh. Right. He's bringing the weed. How much weed does he smoke on set? Is yeah. he just constantly I've never fucking... Seen him. I've never really? I've never no. seen him smoking weed He's just perma-blunted <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. as his cruising altitude. Yeah. <laughs> he I might mean, have what CTE. A, <laughs> what a great way to live. Yeah, for um, real. Honestly, but, uh, he seems super unbothered in his seen, lane, have moisturized, Have you seen his, uh, like, any of his like, red carpet yeah. interviews? Yeah. My favorite. Yeah. He's my favorite. Um, He's high as hell. Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think Angus is, like, so... So fucking smart, and I think like you know he he like will play. Mm, he plays. He, up the he 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 will play with a reporter, mm. and like I, I I just really appreciate that. He like his. I think there was like I think there was saying. some interview where he was he was asked like somebody le uh, like asked a leading question where they were like wow it must be really great to like you know have been on the show like how how must it feel or so how do you feel or something and he just went nah yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's not here for the hoopla. The interview he's that like, launched a thousand memes. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. was... Uh, All right, who's the last person in your dream blunt rotation? Yeah. Mm. From the cast. Yeah, we got one, one more slot. Hmm. To spark up. Legalize it. Okay, okay. This is the pressure, the pressure. I'm trying to feel euphoria, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm trying Smoking to Smoking that euphoria pack. <laughs> I'm trying to think of, like, maybe, like, a day player, like, someone who's, like, not another obvious choice, but... Um, Deep cut. Yeah. The little kid. Oh, Javon. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a Ashtray's a Javon's a um a boxer. Yeah, he's he would good. never he's yeah, he's pretty brolic. Yeah. Getting tested. Whoop my ass. Um, 
Um, oh god, I should be quicker, quicker. It's okay. Okay, you choose. Uh, Ooh. Jacob Alordi. Yeah. Would he be fun to smoke with? I hope so. He'd be like, "We're like, it's my first time." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a, I have a lighter in my merse. <laughs> I guess it's Australian though, so <laughs> yeah, true. I guess we didn't yeah, really do you gotta do a better there. impression okay. there. That's a pretty good blunt okay. rotation. Yeah, yeah right? okay. book it. fun. Okay, cool. yeah. Season three, just meet meet that rota- that cast. Just meet out by the back of the trailers. <gasps> I want to ask about the trends that mm-hmm. Euphoria sets because, like, honestly, the I was talking to Lawrence about this. Like, the power of the show, fashion wise, it's like the most important thing in the zeitgeist to let Gen Z. Which character in Euphoria do you think is uh, the biggest real life trendsetter of the show? That impact. Maddie. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, because I read somewhere after season one that like (laughs) for like that year, you know, Google will do like a report on the things that were most Googled and like Maddie's outfits was like one of them. Straight up. (laughs) Which specific (laughs) outfit or was it just 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 Maddie outfits or something like that? Yeah. Um, Looking for that Maddie vibe. Yeah. Yeah. Was it girls trying to dress like her or was it young men trying to beat off to her? Like that's the question, right? (laughs) Both, yeah, okay. probably both. <laughs> Wait, Whatever, so did you read matter. a lot of press about the show? Um, Are you one of those? <laughs> I mean, I I try to read press that I've done. Um, and then I don't read your own and then but like when people write about the show, whether it's trend reports oh, or like gossip, occasionally like, you get wrapped up in that? no, but occasionally I've read something that like where someone has a theory about something that I think is funny yeah. that I never thought of, or where they were, okay. you know, people have thought it through more than I did kind of like probably when I was in film school and I was asked to do a paper on a, right. on a film and I would analyze it. And going then galaxy I would write, yeah. Yeah, and yeah like, exactly. Right. And you're making all these like analogies and like and connection. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, but then like, yeah, I was just like, Oh yeah. And then, so some of the theories I've just started saying like, yeah, I oh, meant totally. that. That's my, yeah. Do I meant you, to do that. Do you watch the show? <laughs> I've only watched it once. Really? Each season. And when you're watching it, are you enjoying it as a viewer or do you have I to I cry. Be... Okay. So you're you're I get getting so caught up in it. I get so emo. I I could just watch the trailer right now and I would I would cry. Literally tear up. I but you're not cry. like self-critical. You're like, "Oh my god, like that look. Uh, it's not doing what I thought it was." You're not thinking no, like that. The, the like show studying moves, game The tape. show moves so fast. Yeah. There's not even time to like really do that. Yeah. I mean, you know, there are those scenes where, you know, they're able to breathe and you see a lot and you know i think there's sort of a a pattern especially with season two where there's like really quick cuts Mm -hmm. and montage and fast stuff and then and then there will be a scene that last 20 minutes yeah Yeah. (laughs) and then then it's fast again and then so there's just kind of this ebb and flow are you watching live or are you doing like a binge like how do you consume the show uh, well, I can, I mean, I can watch, I can watch on monitor while we're shooting. I can watch dailies. Um, I usually will like only watch dailies if I'm concerned about a costume or something. Um, but those final episodes that you're saying that you only watched one time through, how do you? Yeah, I watch them when the show comes okay, out. Okay. So you're like yeah, sitting down like, with everyone I else. I remember okay, this cool. last season. Are you on Twitter? Are you like, <laughs> yeah. are you examining what people are like thinking the looks? Um, I didn't realize the reactions would come out that fast. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah, I would do that like moving forward, but mm-hmm. I did notice that, um, People will figure out what someone's wearing oh, like the in ID. hours. Oh yeah, even if you only see like a little shoulder. Well, that's big business, like that's like, it's and people's wild. entire content is but based it, around. But ID. it'll be, it'll be like. I remember there was this one thing that Lexi Mod's character wore while she's like, it's a, it's a montage of her and Fezco on the phone, and she's like sitting down. You only see a sliver <laughs> of her shoulder, like from behind, and it's just a strap, and it was a. Uh, Anna Sui burnout velvet dress, probably from like the early nineties. And it's an idea to like it's that. vintage. And people f- wow. figured it out. Damn. Like, Autism I, my mind is was a blown. crazy drug. Yeah, for real, dude. Get but I know mindset. like I know you can take a photograph with pulled from the internet and do like a reverse yeah. image search. It's drip AI. Yeah. Yeah, so that exists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. But, Chat but like, GPT. just like, fr- but freeze framing something. Yeah, crazy. I mean, like, how, how there's no, how, there's no AI for that. Do you Not think yet. Like, the mystery in what you do or some mm-hmm. of that like is being lost then because of or? No, that's like, fun. That's okay. fun. But I do try to stump people. Oh yeah. Mm. Yeah, I mean that definitely was stump a hu- the stands. It was a huge motivation for a season that like, and I used about like sixty, I would say sixty five, seventy percent vintage on the girls mm-hmm. because I was trying to find and and use pieces that people wouldn't be able to call out. 
Got it. You know, that like, because also like. So season three, is season three going to be like impossible? Is he gonna be like, who can stump Heidi? I have Heidi? no idea what season three is going to be like. I haven't seen the scripts yet. I just, I know that it's going to be in the future. I know they're not in high school anymore. I mean, look, I'm saying this and then right. things could totally change. But that's what's been told to me that I think I'm allowed to say. That's kind of future, already out like, there. We're talking like fucking like flying cars? Are we talking like, like next year? Like five yeah. years. <laughs> oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Fucking sick. College? Yeah. I guess after college. Right after yeah, college. Yeah, that would be. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't, think, every, I don't think everyone's home. going to college. Woo! But. Um, you don't but <laughs> say college is, not, college is not for everyone yes yeah, right? college is not that's for cool. everyone and how amazing that there's like new laws in place that say like you don't need a college degree to have like yeah. all of these jobs you don't now. need a college degree to be a fucking podcaster i'll tell you that yeah. much God i mean damn. i went to hunter college but i know hunter I, and i went all four years but there was like some weird thing that happened with my um with the like I just didn't degree. have like one. Yeah, I just like didn't have like one gym credit. Mm. We smoking under the bleachers. But how convenient. How how funny is this? I I mentioned something about that somewhere in press, like in the past year or so, and the dean I think of Hunter contacted me. She DM'd me and what? she said, "Let me help you. I'll you help you get your I'll help you get your diploma." Damn. Wait, so you cheated the system and you got a diploma wow. even though you didn't? Well, I haven't done it yet, but okay. it's on my to do list. Just be like, "Give me an honorary doctorate, <laughs> yeah. Doctor Bivens." Yeah, I would go reporting teach. To set. <laughs> I would go teach. I just went to Florence to the school called Polimoda where they teach students styling. That's like a thing really? you learn in school That's now. That's so Italian. You either got it or you don't. Yeah. But no, it's all international. It's all students from all over. I'm getting my tour on. Yeah. <laughs> and putting yeah. pants on. Yeah, and I went and I... And, and Today they, we did right leg. My pleats HD. Invited me to come teach a class. It was cool. Awesome. We mentioned, so like we mentioned that when a brand does get ID'd, I'm sure that their, mm -hmm. their bottom line just goes crazy. Mm -hmm. Do brands ever try to lobby or bribe you? into getting some of their clothes on the backs of Gen Z's most popping TV stars? Yeah, you're the, you're mm, the, I think brands are still figuring out how it can work or how it works. And I how, think... What's your like, number? Google well, Trends. I'm not cool. allowed to like accept right. money well, for, that, I mean, for wait, you know... Wait, wait, Hunter uh, College isn't allowed to a, just fucking... She's waking ass right now. That's so crazy. <laughs> yeah. um, Got something in your eye? I, um, she's writing something on the big little piece <laughs> yeah, of paper. Remember, sliding across the table. Shh. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Whoa, seven I, figures, Heidi? Whoa. Remember when you said off the record? Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. Right. Um, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Nothing's off the record. <laughs> uh, but uh, but yeah, no, I, I think it's, you know, it's been really interesting to see how brands have responded to this idea of having their stuff on, on television because there was a time where no one understood the value of that right. and like brands weren't interested and... Um, Did you get any pushback from any brands? Like, no, we actually don't want to be on well, this like the, sexy the funniest, heroin show. The the thing that I find the most funny is uh, first season. Even though Zendaya was attached, and you think like people would be like throwing clothes at you, mm -hmm. um, there were some brands who I didn't hear back from, mm, and I usually awesome. don't take no for an answer. Mm, and um, I usually like you know. Uh, um, I'll like just keep on like yeah. you know finessing my pitch yeah. to like until they I convince them. But there was like a couple a couple people who like you know maybe I reached out to a few times and then I didn't hear back and I was just got too busy and I was like okay well you know You're okay lost. oh well and then <laughs> this happened with several people mm -hmm. after the first season came out I I received emails from these people. Hey, just checking oh. in. That so said, this I, lost. I found this lost. in my spam. Yeah, okay. And my assistant was supposed to reply, and they didn't. Sure. And oh my god, I'm sure. so sorry. Sure, we Demna. <laughs> that's like Hunter. That's Hunter College finding your degree in their spam. Yeah. Same fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that um that felt good, and yeah. uh, that whatever yeah, you say, Kim Jones. That was like you know. <laughs> You slept, but no, yeah. I still I still gave all the snooze. You're not punching them. I know I, I still gave you all the people opportunity. Oh, so you don't have a snooze? No, you lose. Okay. I don't hold grudges. I think that's I think that's petty. I think when it's when you hold grudges, it's like it rots it's, you from the inside. Yeah, what is that saying? It's like you know, once you you know mature enough in life where you realize like oh like. I'd say ninety nine point nine percent of the time it's about them. It's not about you. Right, right, right. And like once I figured that out in life, I was like, oh, OK, I was, oh. I was like, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. It's your problem. Right. You're the one that fucking sucks. <laughs> what do you actually think of Gen Z fashion? Because mm. like you mm. are setting the trends there, but like. Well, you say that, but, you know, on. let's. Come on. But I had a platform to put it on television, but Fair. I would like to think that honestly, if Euphoria didn't exist, 
I don't know that what would be what's happening in style would street style or fashion or whatever would be that different or different. Really, you don't think so? You don't think people no, because everything shapers like you don't. Th- what about like the beauty? Well, the beauty is huge. Yeah, the beauty is huge. Um, you know what Donnie Davy has done for uh, you know inspiring people to like be creative with makeup. I think yep. is huge. Um, but the clothes, I mean, you know. I you think know. we would have looked, seen some Y two K ass motherfuckers? Oh yeah, because it, it was time for it to come back. Okay, you know, it's like everything comes back. Yeah, everything's cyclical. Yeah. So so yeah so, um, I just think you know I had this unique platform. I think I did understand the power of television in a way that maybe like a generation of costume designers doing that kind of work didn't understand before. Sure. Um, and that has to do with me coming from fashion world, right? you know, and me like understanding that like there, there is so much value in creating a show that speaks to that industry. Right, right, right. You know, where you I had to think, put in both worlds so you could like yeah, bridge that gap for sure. There was really a divide before, um, you know, Ariane Phillips, who I credit as one of my mentors, who's in the book. She, I, we have a conversation in the book. Um, she was one of the first and only people I knew of who was styling celebrities, doing editorial, working with Italian Vogue. You know, she was Madonna stylist mm-hmm. forever, and also working on amazing films. So and doing music videos. And, she understood and the value in all of these different mediums. Yeah, and um, and you know, like as a young person, younger person, and seeing her doing what she was doing and having um, people tell me like, you need to focus on one thing and like seeing her just do whatever she wanted and whatever brought her joy. I was like, well, if she's doing that, like she set a precedent. I was like, I can, I can do that. I can have, I can do that. Yeah. And so she really, yeah, gave me um, the courage to. Shout out to the mission. So, yes. Yes. Shout out the teams. What can Mm -hmm. you tell us about the euphoria book? Mm -hmm. Um, so in the, stores now, right now. So Get the book, shit. I'm excited about Get the book copies. because I don't think there's been a book like this before. And listeners, please let us know if I'm wrong. But <laughs> is I, it just screenshots or is it like it's yeah, it's just <laughs> screenshots with my thumbprint. Nice. On, like, so, yeah, um, yeah. It's I don't know. It's it's like really sort of comprehensive look at process and the nuances that go into all the decision making. Uh, it, there's a, a lot of captions in the book, mm. so we shot select costumes on a light box and then so there there's still lives with captions so you you kind of see my tangents and my thought process mm. and uh and i feel like you know there hasn't really been um this kind of book done um in this way and uh and i my point being that i hope this leads to other books for other costume designers because i think there is an audience for this if you could have that style book for any movie tv show Ooh. as like a fan what would you want to have broken down in that kind of nuanced oh, wow. way well i was thinking about this yesterday and i think it would have to probably be a project that's hasn't happened yet oh okay that Only you're involved with n- no not necessarily it okay. could be like you know costume designers who i really admire their work but and I say that because I think there hasn't really been been an emphasis on documenting like mm. their the whole process, like there needs to be and there could be and there should be. Right. Um, there's a great book uh, about the Hunger Games. OK. That is one of the only books I've seen that I think did a really great job. And it highlights Trish Somerville's work. I'm obsessed with her. She's amazing. I work with Jen Law. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And did she uh, ask her for any of those. Um, I, don't I feel like it might have. She's been them. nominated. Yeah, I was gonna say. She's been nominated. She's exceptional. Um, but the the producers of the film and the director and obviously everyone involved, the studio, had the foresight to know like we sh- we have an opportunity here mm-hmm. to create a book, and so there are photo shoots throughout the book that they planned and produced for the book That's with crazy. the costumes. Wow. And you know, While usually filming a, fr- a big giant franchise. Yes. And they really made an effort and and it's such a gorgeous book and um and I think, you know, usually, you know, you're shooting it's happening so fast, no one has time to like right. do anything. No, absolutely. I remember when we were shooting Euphoria, I wanted 
my friend Matt Jones, he's a photographer. Uh, his parents started ID Magazine, and he did this ID cover way back in the day with Chloe and Harmony, Chloe mm-hmm. Sevigny yeah. and Harmony Corinne, and um, and I wanted to recreate that shoot with Jules and Rue. And so, like, throughout the season, I would, like, have these ideas about things I wanted to do where I wanted to, like, pull some cast and, like, do a special little project on the side. But it was just always too hectic. It's overwhelming. We just never had, you know, and, like, to get get people to sign off on and get clearance on that. But, like, I think my my point is that going into a – like, if you know a project's going to happen and you know that there's going to be potential that uh, there's a built-in audience or an audience will be Mm -hmm. there to want to see all the BTS and all the the behind-the-scenes, everything, that you can anticipate that and then you can make that happen. Absolutely. What percentage Mm -hmm. of the book sales do you think will be, like, fashion heads that want to know the process of of this world-building and character-building – um, versus the percentage of sales that will just be teen boys looking for some analog spank bank material. Is it like 50-50? <laughs> Is it like, yeah. Um, sales sale, right? I yeah. have no clue, actually. I'm really we'll excited out. to see, yeah. Comment who, which one you who, are in the comments. Who is interested. If you see the book and the pages stick together, you know which <laughs> one it was. Real quick, what's the policy of taking clothes from set once filming yeah. wraps? Do you, uh, is it your pick of the litter? Me or yeah. other people? You. Well, both. I'd like to know. <laughs> Me, I mean, I'm the boss. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, you are. <laughs> but other people... <laughs> this counts as vintage. Other people, I mean, honestly, it's Sam loves a flashback. So oh, I don't, so you know I don't know. let yeah, people, I don't let know. people take stuff because the minute I do, that's when he writes a flashback into the script, and then yeah. like then they lost it or left it at their mom's house in mm-hmm. another state, yeah. and then I'm screwed. <laughs> it sounds like the when you work with Sam, it's like super collaborative. Mm-hmm. Is he like, does he get really involved with what you do or is he hands off because he knows that the work speaks for itself? He's so generous. He really uh, enables me to do my best work and that he leaves me to it. And then, you know, he's there if I need feedback or I have questions. But, um, you know, little known fact, he writes into the scripts when instead of wardrobe direction, he'll write, let Heidi do her thing. Ooh, let let her Heidi cook. cook. Let her cook. <laughs> yeah, hell so. yeah, dude! You got to get him to write that in yes. into the script this season. Let mm-hmm. her cook. Let her cook. Let her cook. Let okay, cook. Sam, did you hear that? Yeah, Sam's okay. listening. Yeah. Wait, so if if working with him is such a joy, like, what do you think of all the news that's coming out with him mm-hmm. around like the idol? Do you believe it? Uh, well, you know, I don't. I don't know this reporter who you know has been the Rolling I guess, Stone working yeah. on that piece for a while. Um, but I know, uh, you know, obviously many, many of the people involved yeah. and, um, and I think, you know, it was, it was a situation where, you know, they had shot like a version of it and, you know, Abel's the producer, it's his show mm-hmm. and, uh, it, you know, you know, he went to HBO t- to do the show. It's like, it's his it's his, it's his baby. Yeah. Yeah. He, you know, he has to feel good about it and want to get behind it. So, you know, I think um, no one could have like necessarily predicted right. how, how things went down. But um, in my experience, everyone, you know, has has been respectful. So, you know, as to other people's experience, right. I, I, can't, I can't speak to mm. that. Yeah. But, um, you know, I'm always Not trying to can cook. I'm always trying to give people the benefit sure. of the doubt. Sure. And, you know, shit gets complicated. It's, cr- it's crazy that the most famous um, singer in the world would want to be in more scenes in his own TV show. That's wild. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. Song? Also, I mean, honestly, from someone who has, like, been involved in tabloid shit before. Uh, True. Either, they will just, like, p- they will, like, make something out of nothing. And they will pick Muckle up. Bastards. They will pick up. S- like, basically, Fucking like, if Times. you choose, <laughs> if you choose to not say anything, they will make something Ooh. out of that. They'll say Ooh. something for you. Yeah, yeah. So. That's why you should come you know. on a podcast for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> tell your own fucking story. Yeah. Any, any celeb <laughs> listening that wants to tell their side, yeah. come on yeah. down. Zendaya, we know you're listening. <laughs> Throwing you fits. The only podcast that matters. Heidi, I want to go back and just like talk about uh, your track record for a second. So Euphoria and yourself have been nominated mm-hmm. three times for Emmys in the Outstanding Contemporary mm-hmm. Costumes category. Losing to Pose, we fully understand that. that. Yeah, yeah, respect. Let's be real. Full, full respect. But losing <laughs> to Shit's Creek and Hacks... But are I have theories t- about this. Let's what go. are they? What are they? So, in, in all respect, but uh, Shit's Creek, it was their last season. Right, that's what we, we talked about. So that, they needed yeah. as many as possible? Was also, that- and it was the first season of Euphoria, so a lot of the 
um, the the voters who are um, so you know with the academy with the television academy other they, costume are, designers are voting for mm-hmm. costume design okay so um, so a lot of those designers hadn't hadn't seen the show yet the jelly ass I think I mean they're supposed to watch the show <laughs> right but, well, but like supposed to. But, um, too busy watching Young Sheldon. But <laughs> it, I mean, I think you know, shit, Creek, NCIS like New it really, it you know, it it really um, hit it like did it? Y- yeah, I mean, to the people who watch mainstream television, got it. Yeah, you know, like okay. that. And um, the first time they ever saw Rick. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, I I Rick's Creek. I can't, Tom Brown. <laughs> I can't really talk about the costumes uh, on that show so much because I, I mean, I only watched one episode and it was the episode that, that was, was nominated. nominated. So, mm. um, how are the fits in that shit? But, um, Rush. I mean, I think, you know, it's what about hacks. It's okay. So hacks. So great so, show. Great show. Yeah. Hilarious. Um, ha- <laughs> hacks, hacks is, uh, I think hacks is the kind of show the majority of the costume designers who are voting want to watch. That's their also show. HBO. Yes, so. yeah. but like that's their show. Like thirty they, minutes. Like Euphoria yeah. is not their show. Right. right. Does but also, that make sense? No, but I get it. Did you that's also the story I have to tell myself? That's and I think that's a fair <laughs> assessment. So, so hacks so sleep at night. <laughs> but hacks was season. No, so it's no, not so, about winning. It's not about winning. I mean, so the, it is. But we but if the costume designers were on TikTok, then they would know that like yeah. Euphoria is like much more powerful fashion wise than Hacks is, right? Well, what is Hacks winning for like the Vegas show, like uh, fits when she's like on stage? Like what is you're it? The, even? You're the frumpy Gen Z. Yeah, I don't get. That's what, I don't fucking... even like Shit's Creek. I kind of get because of the high fashion cosplay. But like, what? I don't. I'm confused. Like when he said Hacks was even nominated. Well, I was like, what the for fuck? okay, so I was also nominated for CDG Awards, Costume Designers Guild Awards. Comedy Garçon. Yeah, I was gonna say. And, uh, Ray, dude. And uh, like the first season, um, Emily in Paris won. Oh, so <laughs> I'm just. I'm, what I'm trying to you, illustrate you, is that saying, like dude? your taste. Is not the same as the costume designers Wait, so who is, are in the guild right, who are right. voting. Your or the taste guild level is not at our waist level. <laughs> I believe is the term. The, th- the whole thing about the Oscars and uh, the Grammys, Grammys, right, mm-hmm. is that the voters are just like old white people that are voting as John Baptiste as like gr- yeah. great best album of the year. Yeah, is that the same with TV? I'm. I she's still trying to win one, dude. She's, gotta, still, <laughs> she's still trying to win one. Do you, I, do you, do you want to win an Emmy? Like, is, yeah. is it important to you? Well, no. Oh, I, please. I don't care about that. I but don't. You, but it would be nice. I don't care about that at all. How do you measure um, success? Is it just like we put, we put well, out fire TV? My, uh, I do measure success by my peers acknowledging me, but um, I am acknowledged by my costume designing peers. I mean, I'm nominated. Right. You know, True. so it's like I'm the Susan Lucci of no, I'm just not, not yet, <laughs> not yet. But uh, <laughs> um, so you feel seen and validated? I do. I by do. the by the industry. I do, and also like if you think about the history of television, costumes and television, and and even awards for costumes, a teen show has never been in the mix right. ever. Like this was like a new thing. I think that a, a television show about yeah. teenagers was even. Um, acknowledged yeah. in this way. Seventh Heaven was ahead of its time, I agree. Yeah, absolutely. Dawson's yeah. Creek. Woo! Yeah, true. That's the creek that got snubbed. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to go God. even fucking harder in season three? Or you well, don't know I don't know what the scripts are going to be like, so it'll be really interesting to see like if um, you know the characters feel like it, what the storylines give us, right? Because if we're not in high school anymore... Then from like young adulthood, like then yeah. it's like sort of entering a different phase um, of life. But at the same time, you know, Sam has given creative license where like we we're creating we're world building, we're creating our own sure. world within the show. So it's not like I have to subscribe to some pedestrian idea of like right. what real people wear now because they're not in high school. But uh, but yeah, I don't know. I won't know until I do you not see do the not scripts. think do you intentionally not think about it until you have like true material I work can't. With scripts. you know it's also really hard to start designing in my head uh if i'm if i sign on to a project and i don't know who the cast is it's Ooh, really sure. hard of course because like the casting makes such a huge Gotta difference a face to the name for mm-hmm. sure mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. what does a uh, executive producer drake think of the fits on euphoria yeah. you ever gotten feedback from know. big scorp the king i don't know i mean i'm guessing he's happy I never, I never got Make him sexier. I, got, I, I, I never got any negative Make them really? feedback. He never, because he's like he comes by set. But yeah. I mean, I, I never asked him. Um, he just posted but, all of his watches on Instagram. Yeah, 
Yeah. Wait, he must fuck with. He must fuck with. Yeah, he face, must think right? it's cool, right? I would think so. I would hope so. I mean, especially Maddie. So do you get? Do you hang out with? You hang out with Drake? Hold or? on. What do you mean, oh. especially Maddie? Especially Alexa to me, her character. Maddie, meaning like she's like hot. You know? Oh, like oh, okay. like I would think he would approve. Drake's like that's a ting. It's a hot <laughs> ting. It's a great ting, man. Uh, so you hang out with Drake. What's that like? Yeah, when he mm-hmm. comes to set, like yeah, he pops in. He's like, you know, what are his fits? What do you think of his fits? Yeah, I mean, he always does right. Yeah, I think so. If you could, I, give... I, I'm not, uh, I'm not, okay. well, I'm not as big of a this? critic if you as could you. Give are. him one styling tip. What uh-huh. would it be? Or is there something that you'd like to see him in, or we want to, you know, oh. you know, pair something back? Oh yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I should just consult for his brand. Nocta. <laughs> or OVO, I guess, just generally speaking. Either. Both. Okay. So you're going to be like, pay me to get the answer to this question. <laughs> <laughs> I think is where we're going with this. Break me off a little piece, I'm dude. a New Yorker. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Drink. Okay. More headbands. Fuck you, pay me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Heidi, you were first and foremost a film lover, all like costume design work aside. What's the guilty pleasure film you always go back and watch again and again that's like maybe Ooh. a little embarrassing? And we will judge oh. you. Yeah. I love Step Brothers. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Let's <laughs> fucking go. That's dude. fucking hell yeah. Cool. That's a plastic. Yeah. And what do you think of the tuxedos? You're like, oh, oh <laughs> can, you go, can you go movies. line for line with the whole movie? And Idiocracy. Okay. Mm, okay. A little slept one. on. It's crazy how Idiocracy predicted the future. It's like we're actually living. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, um, okay, Step Brothers. So many, so many. And then marrying your marrying your uh, costume designer work and your love of film. What's your Mount Rushmore of most stylish movies? Unranked mm. top four. Oh, wow. I should have been prepared for this. Damn. Okay. You've been, um, you've been preparing okay. your whole life. Yeah, true. Uh, um, this is okay. actually your I love your I love Heathers. 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 Oh, great. Oh, nice. a good one. Yeah. Classic. Um, maybe Do the Right Thing. Ooh. Okay. Um, Don't scuff the Jays, people. Um, let's see. Two classics so far. Love this. Uh... Halfway there. Mm. We're halfway there. Do, 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 Wizard of Oz? Do, do. Wizard of Oz? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, please. Okay. There's like one Who human. Cares? There's one wait, human fit. Wait, now. are you talking about <laughs> costumes or yeah. fits? Okay. We said no, no, no. Well, as we said most stylish movie. Yeah. Okay, so most stylish movie. So for dudes, it'd be like, yo, like, fucking, okay. like, okay. talented Mr. Ripley, okay. bro. Ocean's well, that, 12. That was, yeah. that was a good one. Um, okay, okay. Let's get real. Okay. Yeah, well, the first, the first, the first, the first two, the first two Walk were uh, were real. Um, yeah. Okay. Wizard of Oz is because of the um, ruby red slippies. Like, well, it's just so p- good to look at. Oh yeah. Um, well, technical. Okay. It was the first yeah color movie yeah. slapped. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yo, this shit hit. Yo, color hits different, yeah. bro. It killed a Victorian child. <laughs> oh, One God. more. Okay. Wait. No, two more. Two more. Two oh. more. Okay. 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 I can do this. I can do this. We are kind of like a girly movie and then like a fucking like dude movie slash like New York, like New York movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, now you sound like Sal. What else is there? Yeah. How about, well, um, who, what's running through your head right now? Just yeah. Throw some out there. Stumps. Barry Lyndon. Well, Barry Lyndon is on my top 10 criterion. Woo. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Great but taste. that is that fit. Is that fits? I mean, it's a fucking period piece. They're fucking kidding. Yeah. Shit, Michael Mann's Miami Vice. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just naming his most yeah. movies. No, I I, I love right. I love Super Michael Mann. I love Miami Vice. You ready for um, Heat Two, starring Anna de Armas? Yeah. Did you read the book or the prequel? Did you read the book? No, I don't read. You already books. know yeah. I got about <laughs> yeah. a quarter through before <laughs> it went back on the shelf to collect dust. <laughs> well, you, you have you have worked with a crazy roster of A list talent. I mean, forget it. Just the, the breakout stars from Euphoria, but like mm-hmm. Jennifer Lawrence, Ben Affleck, the ATL twins. <laughs> Who's been the most fun to work with? Besides you, Euphoria cast. Let's talk movie stars. Yeah. McConaughey, Jonah Hill, um, Snoop Dogg. Oh, Snoop. Gucci Mane. Oh my Gucci. God, Franco. Snoop. I fucking love Snoop. The Spring Breakers girls. Snoop yeah, is girlies. such an angel. Yeah. Yeah. That's um, what everyone says. One day I made Snoop's, well, my, my tailor made Snoop's pants too short. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and he, she just had this thing where like I'd have to tell, I'd have to like, trick her and right. tell her to make it longer than I really needed it. Yeah, she yeah. would always make it shorter. And Isn't Taylor Millhouse. It <laughs> was before I realized this and I and she made her his pants too short and he was not happy. Oh yeah. And he was pissed. And uh Still and I felt, I felt so crease. horrible. Um well, he likes a big break. So it wasn't like mm. he was wearing high waters, but right. he he's just, also tall. They so weren't tall. as long as he, yeah, he liked stems them. On them. Yeah. And I think that's probably why he likes them long and not like 
perfect, uh, you know, because he has like, such chicken break legs. Because it, it's well, no, because like I don't know, just think about the psychology of like you're really tall, and then all your pants, like you know, that if you bought them off the rack, like were like yeah, at, just at your ankle. Mm-hmm. If you were having pants made, it'd be nice to have them like really yeah. long, and then oh, like you know, you do have terrible some break, in Bushwick, you know. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so I digress, but he was so upset. And then I went to set the next time I saw him, I was across, we were shooting an exterior and we were on this lawn and it was a wedding scene. And, um, he was on the other side of the lawn and he saw me from across the way and I just made a sad face. Like, I'm sorry. You're, I know you hate me face. And he (laughs) stopped what he was doing. And he looked at me, and he put out his arms like for a hug, and and said, "Come, come here. Bring it in, come sister. Here. Bring it in." And uh, and I walked <laughs> over to him, and he gave me a hug, and uh, and he was so he was so sweet. <laughs> yes, I mean, since then, like if I'm if I'm in a city where he's performing, and like I hit up someone from his team, like yeah. they'll invite me, and the and I'll go backstage and like Just get fucking n- yeah. Zooted. Fuck yeah. And, um, yeah, so so Snoop is definitely... Do you prefer rapper weed to, like, <laughs> pedestrian weed? I mean, I... Yeah, what are you vaping can, on? I can do it all. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Woman <laughs> of all talents. No, no, no. Seriously, no swag. No college grade swag. Right, no, right, right. We're not. past that. We're, yeah. we're, no we're seats. grown. No seats. Do you want to move on for the Mount Rushmore most Irish movies? Because we had to... Oh, yeah. right, right, right. I was trying to throw oh, yes, your lifeline yes, here. Yes. But thank we don't... You, we don't. You. We can move on. Thank we can move you. on. I'm yeah. so bad with these like favorite things. We can um, like we can grade you as a straight F. Yeah. That's yeah. a fail. We I know because I, I we should, can voice I AI Heidi Bivens in later. Just be <laughs> like, I <laughs> liked <laughs> this movie too. <laughs> that's well, that AI needs a new model. Dude, yeah. Well, wait, hold like on. A, Let me because because, because you're gonna edit this, right? Yeah. No. I can. Sure. I can, like, I, <laughs> Absolutely. I was not. like, oh, because like I could like redo it. No, no, it's fun. It's more fun this way because yo. <laughs> These amazing costume designers are just like us. Let me ask you another brain teaser yeah, that I'm sure is going to stump you. If you uh-huh. could dress like any one character from film or TV in your personal life, uh-huh. what character would you dress as? Oh, wow. Okay. Any character from film or TV? Yeah. I mean, I... The Tin Man? No, I... <laughs> the Lion? <laughs> I love... The Cowardly Lion? <laughs> I love any of Anna Karina's... Uh, from Jean-Luc Godard's sure. films. I mean, that's that like tracks. probably a boring... Criterion girl you'll yeah. here. Um, yeah, I love the, the French ingenue of mm. course. vibe. Okay. Um, so, yeah. All or, right. you know, I, I would say Bridget. Oh, right. Brigitte, but um, but I think she's racist, so I don't... Probably she's so. French. Uh, <laughs> they all are. <laughs> yeah, so... Don't be redundant. Just call her French. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, that's not that. I mean, that's not fair. I mean, she she loves animals, so right. Uh, put some stank on the wardrobe. That's that HBO. <laughs> Speaking about French people, yeah, oh, they stank. I want to ask about um, some of your other seminal films that you worked on because mm-hmm. we talked a lot about Euphoria and obviously the Euphoria book in stores now. Mm-hmm. Was there a moment when you were filming Spring Breakers ten years ago that did you have an inkling it would have this resurgence? Maybe as like pop culture cycled through, less than zero. Yes, oh, great. Okay. Yo, Robert Downey Jr. is wearing the Yoji Yamamoto fucking button up in that. Nice. Well done. Okay. It's your show, dude. You were yeah. saying? I was saying. <laughs> you what? also need to do one more still, so if you want to chime know. in later. <laughs> Chef, edit this. No, I'm just kidding. Was there a moment when you were filming Spring Breakers 10 years ago, you had an inkling that it would have a resurgence as pop culture, as a pop culture phenomenon, like serving as the indie sleaze hot girl archetype template? The moment that it's having right now. Yeah. No, but I think Harmony did. Really? Oh, he knew. He had the vision. He did. Yeah. I think he really did. Um, I've gotten a couple texts from him since like all the anniversary stuff mm-hmm. has come up. Um, I'm on a thread with him and Elliot Hostetter, who's the production amazing production designer who did the film, and um, he he's you know he said something about knowing it was coming. Yeah. You know, and uh, it's really funny to read like the comments on social media like in response to that film when you know people are bringing it back up again because uh you know there's like and i said this when the film came out there's like two kinds of people there's people who get that movie Mm -hmm. and there's people who don't get that movie and it's not even about liking it or not liking it it's just about like do you get it or not you know (laughs) and um and it's just funny to me because when people are like who who do like hate on it or like don't understand it 
Like, what do the haters say? I, I, I'm really, they're just I'm like, familiar with the hate. They just talk about how, like, why is everyone saying right. this movie's so great? Like, this movie like sucks or whatever. Or whatever. Or whatever. Like, whatever. Like, Harmony gets that for, like, that's, like, his thing, right? He's, like, um, mm-hmm. you know, very divisive. But to me, it's, like, you know, people are, like, throwing shade or hating, and, and they think maybe that, like, that's somehow, like, valid in the conversation. But to me, they're just revealing mm-hmm. Yeah, they're that they're not very smart. They're bitch ass. <laughs> okay, yeah. they're dumb ass. Fucking dummy. <laughs> yeah, a swagless dummy. Yeah, you're showing and that your whole has ass. nothing to do with the look of it. It's you know, it's about but it is such like an aesthetically specific type of movie, right? From the look. Yeah, how, like, Benoit Debbie's yeah, cinematography exactly. yeah. like started like this whole sort of I think movement in, in first the look of film? cinema. Um, no. I worked on David Lynch's Inland Empire. That's right. Mm-hmm. Before that. Um, and I did some other Damn. small indie films okay. um, before Spring Breakers. Um, Do you prefer working with these like enigmatic weirdo directors? I love working goats, with auteurs. Yeah. yeah. That's I know they're if, goats, but like. Yeah. That's if like I could only work with auteurs, I would. I mean, that's why I did the Adrian Lyne movie. Because I was like, okay, you know, he's got this amazing history. Right. Jonah Hill, um, auteur or not? Yeah. Jonah's, a, Jonah's an auteur. Mm. Very specific. He, he's got a singular vision for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. And he's gonna make another movie this year. How much? In, really? Yeah. What movie is he making? It's a it's a script he wrote. I'm probably not supposed to talk about it yet, but okay. he but it's coming. So how much how much input did our close personal celebrity friend Jonah Hill uh, have when you were putting together the wardrobe from mid '90s? Yeah. Was he like super involved? Because he's a fit god in in and of itself, you know. Yeah, I mean he he signed off on stuff, but it was a similar thing like how it works with Harmony or Sam, where you know they let her cook. He, yeah. So Jonah, exactly. what, Jonah was more a letter cook, not like, no, he would wear fucking chocolate. No. He, <laughs> this guy would be a and, girl. And he was direct, you know, he wrote it, he was directing <laughs> nice. and producing, so he had a lot on his plate. I think it was a relief yeah. to him that he didn't have to think about oh, it. Oh, okay. But, you know, I don't know if you've, if, like, you've read this before because I've talked about this, but it's so crazy. I saw, I saw Jonah at, like, something in New York and, like... Was, was he like, getting a iced like, coffee? Is no, that I think what the like, thing was? Like yeah. Karen Gasoline O was like. singing or something, okay. and it was like the Jake group party. <laughs> and and I saw him from across the room, and he and he was like, and I knew him socially, like, but I did not well, um, but I knew him for a long time. Anyway, he like yells at me from across the room. He's like, hi, hi, and, and I came over, and and I was like, what's up? He's like, I'm I'm making this movie. He's like, he's like I he's like I want you to do it. I want you to custom design it. And so this was like maybe like a year before we mm-hmm. actually made the film. And so then, you know, I got really excited. I got the script. And, and then when I realized, like, the years that it takes oh. place, ugh, so strange. At, at my mom's house in Virginia, I have this chest where I keep all these magazines from my youth that, like, I just, I kept. And because uh, I would collect. The archive. And I had, but I had so many that I had gotten rid of, like, all my skate mags. Oh, no. Like, Thrasher and Big Brother? Okay, sorry. Those years. Oh, really? wow. Those it's like the, the only, universe kind of was. Yeah. yeah. Those are the only, it was like 94, 95. Like, I mean, oh, yeah. I had some like 93, 92, Cosmic. 93, 94. 90. Yeah. Those are the only years I kept, like almost like I had a sixth sense that I was going to need them. Crazy. Were you a little, so, were you so were, weird? Were you like a ramp tramp in your younger years? No, I skated. Okay. I mean, I wasn't great, but I skated, but no, I, I girl, did. So. I did <laughs> snowboard. I'll let that pass. I did <laughs> snowboard competitively and I thought that's really? what I wanted to do with my Compet- life. So yeah, you yeah. fucking shredded gnar. You ripped. Yeah, I love, From Virginia? I love snowboarding. Yeah, yeah, because you know sometimes Are there mountains there. Sometimes, just like hills? yeah, there's mountains, but sometimes when you know you don't have great conditions, that's oh, when yeah. you get good. That's, right. like, that's why the yeah, East Coast we were like years making hits rip. in our backyard and stuff. Right, yeah. you were like forged. In yeah, the I was fires, like dude. I was like learning on ice, and then when I got to <laughs> ride pow pows, like, you're like what? It doesn't, about it. Does it like rip? <laughs> it is in heaven on earth. It doesn't rip my ass skin off when I fall. What the fuck? Pow pow. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Fuck it. Um, beach bum. Mm-hmm. Is Matthew McConaughey in the beach bum Moon Dog your flyest sartorial creation ever? I would say so. Yeah, I, I would mean, say it's so. All time. Because, like, honestly, like those the matching sets didn't exist. I they were nowhere. I couldn't find them anywhere. I had to make them. The, the romp hymns. Yeah, right. The, yeah, yeah, like they were nowhere. The only Damn, place I could find them was like from like yeah. I don't know like. Uh, they would make them for children, you know. Like, now Emrata makes them. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so sorry about that. That but, literally um, created but an yeah. entire genre of, of insufferable dressing <laughs> for the worst guy. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like, what was the trend bottle called? service date rapist? Yeah. Wait, there was a name what for was Kyle that? Cook on fucking Summer House. What was the name? Rob Ro- Ro- Hims. No, but that was the big brand. Rob Him actually is connected, which is oh they are. Yeah, oh, that's what, what it, it like, looks. 
was it was it like slum some i don't know there was like slum? a trendy name for it uh, like, of sets of of dressing like uh, like moon dog like moon dog no yeah scum scum oh dirtbag dirtbag scum, scum something <laughs> no uh it was like shia labeouf even jonah hill at the time yeah. that was du- that was called dust course no it was like fits it was like dirtbag oh wait it was scum scum bros there it is it's funny because it's scum bros so i yeah. can't believe you remember <laughs> that <laughs> Gotta look in the mirror. That was hard. Yeah. No, you killed Scum that. Though. But you would say that that's was so like, fun. That's you, number one. That's so iconic. I've never I've never laughed so hard. Yeah, it's Jonah Hill's great in that movie too, by the way. Yes. He's like a fucking all time. Who else is like uh just your favorite uh Star Total creations in your career? Besides Moondog, Matthew McConaughey. Um, I mean definitely Jules. Yeah. Um yeah. Um Heidi's Avengers. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't think so many of them are yet to come. Right, true. Ooh. Good, good answer. <laughs> Pro answer. Let's flip this a little bit. If mm-hmm. you could go back in time and redo any of your past costume design, mm, we don't want to talk about those. Wardrobe work. Really? <laughs> Too <laughs> many no, to I count? Just, I like. I it? went back and like watched a movie I worked on really early in my career when I had like zero budget, and it was c- cringeworthy. Really? Oh, really? It was like I was like, oh, like this shit. I was like, I'm glad, I'm glad people don't reference this. <laughs> don't go on IMDb and start trying to figure out which one it is. <laughs> Um, we'll but, uh, like, we'll go but back. yeah, I mean, but <laughs> it, 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 was, it was like a reminder to me that like, you know, budgets matter, right? You know, totally. sometimes when like producers are like, and HBO money here's hitting then. a dollar and like, you're mm-hmm. like, okay, well it's going to look like Don't a dollar, spend all one place. you know? Yeah. So, so yeah, clothes do matter. And, uh, was there a movie and, or a show where you did a lot with a little that like, you're like, damn pound for pound. This is like every project. Oh damn. Okay. Because I came from working in indies um and i was like you know wearing lots of hats and you know had a crew of maybe like three when you know i think the bare minimum is usually like four or five to be able to like function and and not suffer and and get like six hours sleep um (laughs) yeah i i think uh i think you know because it it was like good training for me because like i I know i know how to save money it's like snowboarding yeah literally but not fire (laughs) You do some styling work too. Like, who's your dream celebrity to style? Oh, um, you really want to work with? Actually, Let's I don't do this. a lot of. I don't do red carpet. I don't really do celeb stuff. But I love working with talent when I'm working on a campaign. Like when I worked right. with Kristen on, on right. Chanel. Um, I just worked with Jenny Kim um, for Chanel. That was fun. Um, so yeah, when I'm working with celebs and it's like for a client and it's for a project, yes. But to dress people for their life. Not so interested. Really? Really? No. There's not one person that you were like, yeah, get, I'll take my shot here. No, I mean, I think if I was going to work with someone in terms of like a, a like a red carpet, like, you know, that kind of capacity, it would probably be someone who already has amazing style. And then it's just like, <laughs> fa- then you're like facilitating, mm-hmm. you know, because yeah. like to like work with, card. to work with someone who like doesn't have like their own idea of style or have like good instincts about personal style and then you're giving them a style and it'll show that doesn't sound fun to me yeah Yeah. i mean that's why i think that most male celebs honestly Mm -hmm. look like shit Mm -hmm. we feel like right because someone's telling them what to wear just like put this on here you go it's on the bed it's like right right there's not even a single thought are there any are there any and this is like a question that lawrence and i grapple with all the fucking time because it's very few and far between Mm -hmm. the answer is are are there any male celebrities that you think actually have good personal style not even Mm. red carpet but like just like actual on their day to day yeah yeah i mean sometimes i do and then like next month i i don't i was like what's happening (laughs) um so then yeah i don't know if that's about the the their stylist or what but um who do i think looks really good yeah anyone like surprise you lately I mean, you you would know more. You tell me. Who do you think looks good? Tyler the Creator. Oh yeah, yeah. Tyler always looks good. Tyler Tyler also has his own brand, so that helps. Yes, Frank Ocean always looks good. I like Austin Butler a lot. Um, Yeah, Austin. You you do. You like you like Austin. (laughs) I like when he was doing like all like the basically the blue collar stolen valor cosplay leading up to Elvis Wrangler. Okay, what about the SNL um, opener look? What was that? What was he wearing? Was it ridiculous? Was it, was it trash? Google it. I'm just curious okay, what you think. See. Oh, you know what? Who style like? I like Joe Jonas because he just wore a piece that we co-designed. Yes, with he our did. Shout out Blake. Joe Jonas. Hey, yeah. The newest That's what I'm talking fit about. Yeah. Okay, well, Number one. Because he literally shopped at MrPorter.com. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> or well, his I mean, stylist. Why he looks good. He looks good. His style is probably good. I need, yeah. I need some of this stuff to put on the show. 
Yo. Oh, well, yeah. Don't jump the gun because we were gonna beg later. Yeah. So. Yeah. We got you. Don't worry. Hold on. Are there are, are, this fit are there fa- are there fashion trends that you do want to see guys lean into more? That you uh, think like it or maybe underrepresented or should be. I mean, I harder? guess it just goes back to what I was saying about like people having personal style, right? Like when you know, I've noticed lately there's been talk about uh, red carpet looks of the 90s before people had stylists Mm -hmm. and you know some opening night uh that ig account what's it called you know what i'm talking about oh yeah yeah exactly so like you know maybe maybe not all those looks are worth revisiting but uh but i don't know there was something really appealing and sort of earnest about like you know people dressing themselves Mm-hmm. And, uh, and they kind of so, just showed up like they were going to a movie. I yeah, know. Up, like, I know. I love it. <laughs> just like Bruce Willis in like a polo bear sweater. <laughs> yeah. Just like, right, whatever, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Hit play. Yeah. It's real shit. I mean, when you think about how Philip Seymour Hoffman used to dress dude, to go to. Yeah. God. But are you saying that we shouldn't necessarily put that on a pedestal just because it comes from that era? Hmm. No, I just think that there is like a sentiment behind that that sure. we've lost, which is like more authentic. Right. And, yeah. I mean, it's all and, relative. Uh, like Austin Butler in a wearing a double breasted tuxedo jacket with no shirt versus PSH just like at Sundance in a trash Carhartt that he literally probably wore to mow the lawn. There's a, these are not the same thing, people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm not saying one is better than the other. But one is better than the other. I just think that. <laughs> uh, maybe like the reason why I don't have like these like go-tos with people who are like impressing me with style is because like it's maybe not their style. Cause that don't impress right. you much. <laughs> it's like someone else's style True. or the designer using them. So are guys, fashion trying, plate. are guys trying too hard knowing that like, not, and again, I'm not talking about necessarily celebrities. I'm just talking about like dudes, but still Fellas. everybody is, mm-hmm. has a camera on them at all times. Everybody can get fucking flicked up at any given moment of mm-hmm. any given day. Are guys trying too hard, like thinking that they are just like in this like fit pick lens? I don't know about trying too hard. I think it depends on the person because the I think I think some thing? of them like it, it seems like they're having fun. Yeah, you know, Which like is the most important thing we always sure. talk about. That. Yeah, like, it's, it's about enjoying yourself. Yeah, That's the foundation. Totally. Right? Um, yeah, I think you know. I mean, there's there's lots of benefits, right? It's like you know the designers get their moment. Um, so then the actor is supporting the designer. And, um, you know, it, yeah, it creates paid, Gucci, Gucci needs commerce. all that help. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Dude. It's, you know, we're thank God for Harry yeah. Styles. True capitalist. Thank you, Harry. <laughs> Keeping the Italian economy afloat. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Heidi, what about uh, what's some shit that guys maybe just stop doing? I feel like you kind of answered both sides of the question. There, but like, is there any trends you see guys like you and you mentioned the fact that men will switch up their shit. Summertime, month month. no socks, not down. Wow, socks, okay. all, always We're socks. socks. No, back. just like, or at least like, deal, Look, with, deal at... with sweaty feet. If you have, yeah. yeah because... Just layers because you are not wearing socks presently as you well, make this decree. Yeah. And, it's like, and it's like 45 <laughs> degrees out. Yeah. Yeah, I just, yeah. You I like think... a man in socks. Well, I, I don't mind, uh, I don't mind, I don't mind a man in Burks, but, mm. um, Harmony sure hates it. I remember <laughs> really? when we when we really? were when we were first. He's the opposite of Quinn Tarantino. He has an aversion to men's feet. He when uh, <laughs> when <laughs> we Tarantino. when we started to figure out the look for Moondog, Matthew McConaughey's look. Uh, I was I was debating to put him in some open toed situation, mm. and uh, and Harmony was like, Nah, really. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but you went the full opposite. And he wears Uggs. He right? wears Uggs. Well, those are his wife's Uggs that he takes from the closet. Right, right, right. But right. he wears like these uh, Velcro running sneakers. True, true, true. Yeah. Okay. I think they're Brooks. Oh, shit. Yeah. Harmony Corinne, uh, foot phobic. Male <laughs> yeah. foot phobic. Male, fo- male yeah, foot yeah. phobic. Open up your mind, Harmony. <laughs> but I, I'm like into the feet. I was like, if I was going to be an OnlyFans girl, I would just do feet. Well, I it's also like the least invasive way right. to make bread. But I, think, right but I think most of them still show their face. Don't you need to oh, like? You want to be anonymous? Just uh, just, feet. just feet. Oh, just, just feet. And like step on stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. So like a little ASMR too. Yeah. Like some Pringles or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Or some Jello. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, Crunchy and soft. <laughs> filling up a crock with some shaving cream and shoving your oh, foot in there. You seen the that? Best. So satisfying. Yeah. And then like the shaving cream explodes out the crock holes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do that. Yes. We got. All, we're cooking right now, guys. <laughs> this is let them cook. Yeah. You want to be my manager? Let's say less, dude. <laughs> we got the camera right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect segue. Let's make a movie. Perfect segue <laughs> to the next segment of this podcast, Heidi, mm-hmm. which is oh, right, entitled <clears throat> Dad Ass. <laughs> <clears throat> Sex and dating. Sucking and fucking. Okay. Meats and cheeks. Okay. Are you married? No. 
Are you partnered up right now? No. What's the way to Heidi Bivens' heart? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, slide into my DMs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Them Easy. shits are open. <laughs> that, <laughs> I, say less. that I never check. No. Um, no, I don't know. I'm not on the apps. I'm always so curious about the apps. I like. Why not join and just dip um, your toe? Well, is, I, it like, is it like toe in the pool? Do I, they need to dress well? Uh, or is that a you don't care? Well, well is a relative thing. In you your mean, opinion, like in your yeah. fits are in the eye of the beholder. I <laughs> like people who who um, take care of themselves. Okay, and who you know like. I like people who do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> no skaters. Wow, low fucking bar. One time, I, skater one time I dated someone who steams his pants, like, and that was a little bit of a turn off. Is that too much? Wait, like, that's caring too much? Wait, but like, oh, if you're going out somewhere, like to like, you know, a dinner or something, like I get it, but like every day, okay. like, even yeah. your sweatpants. Okay. Well, Whoa. You, who, <laughs> you don't need to steam sweatpants, but I hate seeing wrinkled <laughs> jeans. Like, my right, jeans, right, if right. I pulled them I out feel to come you. pod, and I was like, they, I would iron them. I feel you, yeah. Steam them My jeans yeah, had yeah. a wrinkle, and instead of steaming them today, I just wore them a bunch. But um, you also, you know, you're in the business of, thank you. of throwing fits. But, um, <laughs> Humor, but yeah. intelligent, did yeah. it like movies. Yeah, uh, just don't be a grifter. Okay. Oh, have you ever dated a grifter? <laughs> Well, <laughs> speaking of the biz of throwing fits, this is a podcast. Wait, have you ever dated dog. a scammer? Like, yeah, just like you want. <laughs> that seems very specific. There's some swindlers out there. Uh, yeah. yeah, welcome to New York City. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. So you know, um, I think sometimes I've thought like, oh, this is so cool. This person doesn't know anyone I know. <laughs> well, and and behold, then and yeah. then and then it's like wait. About them. <laughs> they they moon dog your ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Stole so, your yeah. hugs. Yeah, that's by design. No swindlers, no girls. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about what are your fashion red flags for a guy when he shows up on a date? Mm. Like he pulls up and it's an immediate no. Yeah. Immediate ick. Um. Well, uh, like his jeans clem- are too cleanliness, <laughs> right? Like, so if he's dirty. Like I like if a guy has his own smell. Like okay. it's like his smell. Okay. Fair um. Enough. Yeah, but like you know, but the showering thing is important. You've dated a lot of dirty motherfuckers <laughs> in your life, haven't you? Some dirty grifters, dude. No, I mean, you spent like, you're, you're, you spent you know, too much time with the, important. You spent too much time with the skaters on mid nineties. <laughs> oh my God, what, working on the on mid nineties this one day when we had this huge, huge scene where there was like 150 extras, and we had to dress all of them, period, okay. and oh period clothes. Um, myself period. and my and my. <laughs> Assistant costume designer, the amazing cat, Dana Bassis. Um, she and I both got like some weird thing that I think kids get in school. It was like, like a, ha- no, like a hand foot. Th- I don't know. It was like hand some foot disease. It was yeah. some weird, like bacterial Hoof and thing. mouth. <laughs> yeah. COVID-19? Some crazy thing that like I had to go on antibiotics for Damn. to get rid from of from skaters? the dirty boys. Occupational hazard. From the dirty incredible. boys. Incredible. Yes. Okay. Ladies, yes. if uh, you're dealing with a hoof and mouth disease, so stop giving hand jobs to skaters see, at the park. You so see, I have trauma. Was that the scene with Dell the Funky Homo Sapien? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's yes. almost got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good call. No, you're right. And that's the only yeah. scene where there's like more than like four people in the in the movie. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so be yeah, clean, so smell good. Low bar. Yeah. Yeah, um, so stop meeting men down at the fucking rail yard. Yeah, it sounds like you're just <laughs> chilling at Port Authority. Just yeah. like fucking... Ladies, if he pulls up with a bindle, red flag. <laughs> Sounds like you're meeting guys on the Greyhound well, app. I used to have a lot of boxes that needed to be checked. And, you know, it's like... No, it's just please time, shower. As time, as time <laughs> we're goes losing, on. We're losing them. Like... Fuck them boxes. <laughs> um, what's the worst first date you have ever been on? Oh, God. Oh. It sounds like there's been a oh. lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went on a date with the son of a very famous fashion designer... Um, who um, I don't know if he was on prescription drugs or what was happening, <laughs> yes, but was. at the at the Sounds about right. we ate at the bar at um fancy restaurant um in uh it's like around Union Square and uh, and I went to the ladies' room and when I came back he didn't recognize me. He, wow, he, <laughs> that's all time, dude. That's incredible. Wait, so you, you came back and he's like, excuse me, I'm on a date? Like, yeah. holy shit. I, this seat's taken. <laughs> Did you like put on like more mate, like more lipstick so, on in the fucking bathroom? I was so like, confused. It was so disorienting. Was there a second date? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, oh. oh my God. Wow. That's so funny. I almost broke my laptop. That's really funny. 
Let's say that uh, you go on the first date and uh, you go to the bathroom and the date recognizes you because they're not on just like crazy pills, um, <laughs> not being, you know, shot at mental health and everything. Um, let's say there's a second date. Let's say there's a third date. What's your go to fuck me fit on the third date, Heidi? Oh. Yeah. Um, I think it's cashmere. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just like <laughs> tactile. Yeah. yeah. Just a cozy big sweater. <laughs> yeah. Just I'm in cashmere. Stocks. Okay. Cashmere. Yeah. Okay. Like cashmere that. everything. That's luxurious, dude. Yeah. That's some Gwyneth Paltrow. It's good hand, good hand feel. <laughs> Hashtag free Gwyneth till it's backwards. Yeah. Yeah. I lost a day of skiing. <laughs> half day. Half day. Yeah. I lost a half day of skiing. <laughs> Which, Which honestly, yo, it's a lot. It's a lot of skiing. Yeah. In Deer Valley, that's a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, he came in between her legs. Well, apparently there's a video. Yeah. And it's proven guilty. I'm just telling you what I heard. So full cashmere fit. <laughs> Head to toe? You're just in a fucking cashmere yeah. sleeping bag? Yeah, like a cashmere... Sweatsuit? Uh, what, what, are, what are those called? Snuggy? Okay. Yeah. So oh, it's almost cashmere like... Cashmere romp him. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> cashmere moon dog. Yeah. So it's almost like a more is more situation. Uh, well, I mean, this is definitely like a at home date. Got it. Got okay, it. I see. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay this is like movies, yeah. movie night. In front of the movie fire. Night, yeah, mm-hmm. third day yeah. movie night. The mm-hmm. fire's going got All right. Mm-hmm. Say less. Mm-hmm. Um, Heidi, mm-hmm. <clears throat> how much money do you make? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I don't even know. I like to like well, only I mean, have like a rough idea but not taxes. really now. I yeah. know. Don't remind me. I, have I know it's the worst. to deal with that. Um, well, yeah. H- those HBO checks must be nice. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I have this like kind of thing I do where like I never like actually calculate enough to truly know yeah so that i don't have anxiety Stay about humble. anything i just like and then it's like surprising when i right. see my bank i'm like oh where there did you it go? all go <laughs> well <laughs> me cashmere snuggies i got yeah. a closet full oh uh, i'm really good at squirreling it away yeah what do you like to spend the hard-earned money on when you're not squirreling it away um so i like to um well i'm gonna so the purchases i'm looking to make this year for myself Let's go. um i want to i want a motorcycle Fuck upstate yeah, i want like an on off-road like a enduro like something for upstate is that like part of your life like hopping on fucking bikes and shredding it could be oh do you know how to do you have a license um i used to drive a scooter in the city for <laughs> 14 years a vespa so you're looking to upgrade but, um but yeah but but like uh, i don't Wait, i wouldn't like i wouldn't want to drive a, a motorcycle in the city okay. no but i'm talking about like an on off road like a, okay you know like like to go like off-roading like okay. but i mean like maybe a tv maybe a or well i could yeah. get an atv but i think it's uh more uh functional for me to get a like a dirt bike to whip around Sick. the fucking property yeah. That's like yeah, walking, and like, like in the rough, mountains, like a rough and, rider. Yeah, yeah. dude. Get some okay, like, so you, mo- but not uh, cool monster energy fits off. So the bike is on deck. Yeah, mm-hmm. what yeah, are some of the big bike. perks? Is that's tight. Mm, I mean, I was also thinking of getting the ATV, but I probably should only get one. <laughs> Damn, of those. Like, get a fleet, like maybe. This but I, her toys. Yeah, I do. I do. You invite us up to play some paintball. It sounds like I you're gonna do. have a whole fucking I love setup. paintball. Hell yeah, dude! Oh my god, paintball's best. You spend a lot. I don't. I don't spend a ton on clothes. I've been shopping in my closet. Yeah, dude. The I've best. been I've been trying to you know just like and in the euphoria closet mm. <sighs> yeah I mean oh that was funny when I um le- when we went down for pandemic and I had to go back to New York I just like took a bunch of clothes from the stock like to wear um and then I was like I, for like months I looked like during the pandemic I looked like I was on euphoria. <laughs> <laughs> Just around the crib. Just like that <laughs> happened too after Spring Breakers. I remember I came back to New York and like the first night I went out, in like a neon um, bikini. I went yeah. to like <laughs> Cornrows, um, that club Westway that used yeah, to, yeah, yeah. Shout out Car- RIP Carlos, to Carlos and Matt. Um, yeah, I I went out one night when I got back and and like I think I was wearing like a t-shirt with like a glow in the dark weed leaf on it or something, <laughs> okay, and cool, like dude. and and like yeah, all my friends were like, "What happened?" <laughs> What, are, what? Who are you? <laughs> Trauma <laughs> experience on set. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> All right. So, uh, toys is really what you like spending your money yeah. on, like adult. Yeah. No, sorry, adult not adult toys. toys. Yes. Uh, and, nature, and, like, and stuff for my house, so, like fixing up my house. Okay. Yeah. Like I just put a metal roof on, Ooh, and um, I just have my chimney relined. <laughs> wow. So it's like a, you live in a money pit. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean it's all capital improvements. Sure. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Invest in yourself, kids. <laughs> All right, um, Heidi, Mm -hmm. before we get you out of here into the bonus content on patreon.com slash throwing fits, um, Mm -hmm. 
First of all, thank you for coming to the only podcast yeah. matters. Again, before we get you out of here, because you do have a long drive back upstate, we would mm-hmm. love to offer up some constructive criticism because you're doing amazing. Mm-hmm. Thank Euphoria you. Euphoria season three on the way. Love it. Euphoria fashion book in stores now. Mm-hmm. Any other movies or projects you're working on? Yeah. You want yeah. To plug yeah. Well, I mean, everything that I have going this year is in development okay. and like some of which I probably am not like supposed to talk about too much, but I have a TV show in development, Ooh. um, which Mary Heron is attached to Ooh. direct, um, you know, from, you know, from her, her fame of, uh, her, her best known films. Um, I shot Andy Warhol and American psycho, mm. which is a great film for costumes. Oh, true. And, um, is that the fourth? Yeah. That, that might, that's the, my wow. fourth. Yay. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we did, did it. it. It only took <laughs> two hours. And, um, yeah, true crime. And, uh, yeah, well, I, one of the producers, Alessandro Delvinia is uh, one of the EPs from triangle of sadness. Mm-hmm. And then working with a friend, Bronwyn Cosgrove. Um, so we're, we have yeah, we that in development. Tech, Big dude. things and coming. Then, wow. um, and then, you know, some friends making movies. Kristen Stewart's going to make a movie. Ooh. Dylan Meyer, her fiance, is making a movie. Um, Jonah is making a movie. Yes, we heard. Um, Damn, you need a vacation, uh, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, look, so, so the, we'll uh, see. So clearly you're doing incredible. You have so many fire projects lined up mm-hmm. slash in the works. That being said, we'd love to see you do even better. So, Please. if we may, Give take me. it or leave it. Highest Tell just me. take it. Um, you know, anyone that's taken it has gone on to much bigger and better things. Constructive criticism. I'll go first. Uh, when season three starts filming of Euphoria, I know you haven't seen the scripts yet. I know Sam is like receptive to your input. Get us some cameos on Euphoria as maybe like the old pervs that come back to East Highland. Yeah. Word. We could rub people the wrong yeah. way, literally and figuratively. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that scum bro look going. Yeah. Know? Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll, like Dominic, we'll bring 50 Okay, I'm calling clothes. Jim Venditti right now. Right now. <laughs> awesome. go. Right now. Uh, that kind of <laughs> felt like a big ask, and I was going to like rein it in, but like, let's just keep it fucking going, apparently. Uh, <laughs> you should pull some of our new the TF Cut and Sew clothing line. Can't Ooh. wait. And put that on the back of some of these fucking beautiful fucking children. I would love to. Show. I would Absolutely. love to. It would be, my, it would be my honor. This honest, this whole podcast was just like yeah, uh, just uh, us lobbying This could be a Rue shirt. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, this, we didn't, that's not us. But, right. Oh, oh, oh. Right. I hate that we show, We'll show you some pictures. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah. Fuck this shirt. <laughs> no, fuck this shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um, you see this as a Rue shirt? Could be. Interesting. Frumpy. Yeah. Not just like you know, it's like no. dark as Heroin a pattern. Chic. She'd like yeah. you know wear it open with like her little some drug dust on it with like three hoodies, three hoodies on over tank it tank top. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. So again, that's our criticism. Yeah. criticism. Uh, Heidi, where can the kids follow you on social media? Mm-hmm. Oh, the just DM my you name. Ask you on the date, just my name. Just, just on Instagram. Are you on Twitter? I'm on Twitter too. Sick. I don't. I don't use Twitter as much. Um, Please Instagram. retweet the podcast promo Instagram. next Wednesday. What about do you? You have a TikTok. We do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. do you, we'll do you have, yeah. you have TikTok? I, I don't have a TikTok. Oh, okay. You don't use TikTok I for should, research? I, a burner? I feel like I see a lot of TikTok on Instagram. Reels. Well, yeah. You see it like two years late, but you yeah. see it. Yeah. When it bangs on reels, as they say. You know, they just killed this gorilla named Harambe. You don't see it on IG <laughs> real soon. Oh, <laughs> yeah, my God. Real, really sad, dude. All right. Um, uh, Heidi, you're a fucking that. living legend. Yeah. Thank you Thank so you. much for coming on the show. What oh an God. absolute fucking joy. This has been amazing. Thank you so much, Heidi. Chef, take us out.